Hey, welcome back. We're in the book of Exodus today, verses 9 and 10. Pharaoh's chasing after. The Hebrews are up camped in a, in a nook there where they can't get out. It's militarily disadvantageous. Let's read verses 9 and 10. Then the Egyptians chased after them with all the horses and chariots of Pharaoh, his horsemen and his army, and they overtook them camping by the sea beside Pihahiroth in front of Baal Zephon. As Pharaoh drew near, the sons of Israel looked, and behold, the Egyptians were marching after them, and they became very frightened. So the sons of Israel cried out to the Lord. All right, so here we are. Uh, the confrontation is imminent. We're coming up to the Red Sea crossing. We're pretty close now. Uh, but here the Hebrews have now discovered that Pharaoh is coming after them with his army. They can see them. They're close enough physically to see them coming on. And it says that the Hebrews, suddenly they became very prayerful. And, you know, we've all heard about, you know, and there's no atheist in the foxhole. Well, here, uh, what is their reaction? The sons of Israel cried out to the Lord. Now, you've led us this far, and now this, you know, this, this, is, this is really making us feel highly nervous. So now they're suddenly praying to God. It's too bad that we often come to God when we're at the end of our rope instead of when we're at the beginning of a new opportunity. Uh, it's too bad that we come to him kind of as a last resort when we're like, you know, he's like our father, we're his children. We should come to him like at the beginning. At the beginning of possibility, we should come to God, not at the end of our human rope. But that's the way it tends to be, and that's what you've got going on here. Now the Hebrews are frightened. Uh, they're looking around, you know, what are we going to do? How are we going to save ourselves? But God's going to save them. But they're thinking, God help us. We are all alone out here. And so suddenly they do turn, many of them turn to God. Well, yeah, that kind of is smart. But again, what if we would start by turning to God instead of finish by turning to God? What if we made it the first thing instead of the last thing? What if we made faith the beginning of our things instead of a last ditch effort, you know, when all else has failed and all of our human efforts have failed? What if we did that? Something to think about. <laughs>